Yep, yeah, okay, my microphone broke. Time to go and buy a new one, I guess. Kmart mic. $49 comes with a boom arm and stuff. I guess we'll find out how it sounds. <laughs> Unboxing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've heard this is actually decent, so I guess we'll find out. Honestly, for 40 bucks, it doesn't look too bad. Hi, hello. I know the mic quality isn't perfect and I apologize for that, but I think it's the best that I could realistically do. And I figured that uploading videos with not as good mic quality is probably better than uploading no videos at all. And that would be the alternative, right? So here we are. Anyway, wow, that was quite the intro. Um, so today I'm going to be buffing a level called Geometrical Dominator. I don't know why I said it like that. You know Geometrical Dominator. We all know Geometrical Dominator. It's a classic, right? It's just a classic. Now, if you haven't seen my Blast Processing buff video, which apparently like everyone has at this point, so I would highly recommend it recommend checking that out. I made that for Eric Van Wilderman's series. He's doing a series on buff levels. And in that video that he played it, he said the first level we did blast processing buff by tried was just the best, best buffed level in the entire series. You know what I'm going to do next? Geometrical Dominator buffed. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Dude, I'd love to do buff Geometrical Dominator. So I'm going to buff Geometrical Dominator then. And apparently my buffed blast processing was like the best in the series. So I, I got some high standards to live up to then, I guess. Let's just say that. <laughs> you can't even fit Geometrical Dominator in the search thing. That is crazy. All right, here we go. So it looks like we have the level there. Why am I not in preview mode? <laughs> okay, so straight away here, I'm just trying to think what I want to do. It's going to be kind of hard to buff this part here, um, but maybe I could create a bit of a timing there like that maybe. Maybe. Like with the buffed blast processing one, I do want to make it so the decoration is in line, but that's going to be a little bit difficult to do here, considering there's not really anything on the top, is there? Yeah. Hmm, I guess saw blades. Yeah, I'll just I'll just copy paste these saw blades. That's probably the best bet, right? So let's get rid of that. Let's put this saw blade. Oh God, not there. And I want to make it so you have to kind of skip this. And what I'll do to do that, do we have any spikes in this section? No, we don't. But it does use these things. So I might use those. So I'll chuck one of these guys in here. I just want to make it so you can't hold there. Yeah, so you can't hold, but you have to click individually. Yeah, okay, I like that. I mean, what I could do is just shift that over. That's a little bit mean, not gonna lie. Oh, and then you'd have to time that going out of that. I actually kind of like that. Okay, I might do that then. Yeah, I'll do that, okay. And then for this part, I can do all sorts with the robot. There's a lot more freedom with that, okay. Not too difficult to get things started off. I don't want to like absolutely torture him with something stupidly difficult because I mean, even just the blast processing one was like a little bit hard, right? So I could just like add a bunch of like micro jumps in here, right? I think I need to come up with a design to add spikes in here. What I could probably do is maybe even use these ones to match with these saw blades, right? That might work, yeah. Oh, surely you can skip that. Yes, you can. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I had a few layering problems, but I think I got it sorted. All right. What I do want to do here though, is I do want to have a micro click. All right. What I want to do here as well is get a cloud and cover the top of the spike here. Cause I think that would kind of work, right? Maybe I'll scale it up slightly and then layer it above that. Yeah. And then I'll kind of reuse that throughout places, right? So I can, so I could do one there and I'll do one, should I do one over here as well? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's kind of difficult, but I kind of like that as well. Okay, um, I'll get some of these saw blades. See, these saw blades match up as well. Uh, ooh. So what I kind of want to do then is take out these three bits like that. Maybe I could just put more saw blades in here. I don't want to spam saw blades too much, but I might just have to. That's really hard. I'm going to nerf that a little bit and maybe buff that a little bit. Yeah. And then for this part, what I want to do is make you go the swag route over here. So you're upside down through this part and then I can buff this shit part accordingly as well. So maybe just to direct you so you have to do that, what I might do is... And just a hint that you have to actually go up because I don't want it to be like too evil, right? So let me copy the values of this and then let's add a little tiny pulsing arrow that is right there. Paste the values so it's pink. Yeah, like that. Boom, there we go. All right. All right, so now onto the ship part. Yeah, so I got to keep in mind that this will be upside down. Yeah. And then I can do the obvious. Is it? Yes, this is layered properly. Hallelujah. How tight? Is that actually straight fly? <laughs> That's evil. That is actually evil. What I can also do is if I copy the values of that, do I want to do full spikes there? I have a feeling it just makes straight fly, right? 
It does, but I feel like it's also not too, too bad. So essentially the main thing I wanna do is make it so you can't touch any surface because that already increases the difficulty by quite a bit, right? That's basically the ship part done, yeah. I didn't spend too much time on it, but also it's not the longest part in the world. It's already buffed by being upside down. Just needed to add a few more spikes, right, I feel like. All right, so now on to the wave part then. Okay, cool. <laughs> that feels so weird, but I really like that. And then what I might do through here, are there any saw blades here whatsoever? No, all right, time to make my own saw blades then. Um, These ones would probably work, honestly. Or even, or even, old mate Chomper right here, hell yeah. And then I'll just add a few more saw blades around the place. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so that's a little bit easier in game. And then we got these saw blades here, which honestly aren't too bad, I don't think. Hopefully they're not too bad. <laughs> All right, so now onto this little transition part, which shouldn't be too bad. So similar to the blast processing buff, a few of these parts are getting a little bit boring to buff. So I'm gonna skip over a few parts throughout the video, including this one. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> um, Can I make that just cube? <laughs> it's a little bit harder if you use cube. Oh, that's really hard. <laughs> that is so dumb. That's so stupid, but I really, really like that. It's so hard to buff robot parts because I don't know what makes a good robot part, right? <laughs> I think I will work it out. This isn't really that hard, so I feel like I don't really want to do that particularly. But maybe here I'll make it cube. Yeah, I'll make it cube here just because that is actually harder. And then here, though, there I'll do something else. I've just thought you make these kill the player. Oh man. No, they don't pulse. Okay, so what I can do is I'm gonna add outlines to these. Oh, this is a this is a little bit evil. Um, what I'm actually gonna do is instead of doing regular outlines here, I'll make those invisible outlines. Yeah. So then for here, you have to like really click kind of lightly to go under because if you click too much, you land on there. Okay, and then this one, I might <laughs> might be a little bit evil here. I'll make this a buffer timing, just like so. And then this one, you'll have to hit late. Oh yeah, okay. One last thing I kind of want to do is that. <laughs> now what I'm thinking for this part here is if I put spikes like so, and then just put those on all of these edges. How difficult is that? Is that really hard? I honestly don't know. It's doable and it's honestly not too, too bad. So I might leave that. Oh man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep, all right, nice. All right, so now what I kind of want to do is I want to change this UFO part a lot, not structure-wise, but gameplay-wise. And I want to just add a bunch of custom gameplay to this, I guess, right? So let's go here, mini flip gravity. And I feel like that is just like a decent sword blade design. And then I'll add another spike like that, going across there, yeah. It's really hard. I'm trying to add all this stuff without making it too obtrusive. Like, obviously, this is already pretty obtrusive with like all the sword blades and stuff, but I, I don't know. I kind of like how this gameplay is turning out, to be honest. Yeah, okay, I, I kind of like that. I'm trying to do creative buffs. That's kind of like what I want to do with this. I really want to make just the buffs more creative than anything. There we go. Yeah, okay, so that UFO par is not too bad. I feel like this has a bit of a learning curve to it, but I really like how this has turned out, actually. Okay, now the infamous memory part, the hellish hellscape of this memory part. Oh, ooh, I have, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea, this might work. What if I turn it into a duel? So it's the same gameplay on the bottom, but it has dual gameplay up the top. I, I like the idea of that. So it's, it's not clicking anymore. It'll just be clicking the same amount, literally doing the same as the bottom memory part, but it'll be a duel. Uh, um, what I'm gonna do is shift all of this up. This is gonna be a lot of tweaking, by the way. So yeah, this is gonna take a while. Just bear with me for a second. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make it switch between dual and not dual, just so it lines up a little bit better. And so like that type of thing. And then it'll go back into dual up here maybe type thing. Yeah, okay. I, I think this could work. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's like, it's a super easy jewel. You literally just do what you need to do on the bottom and it works out. But oh, it looks so intimidating. I love it. And it'll make for a good thumbnail, so you know. <laughs> and for these parts, I think I'm just gonna buff this in a very normal way. This isn't a memorization buff. This is just a buff in general, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. So I think I'm gonna keep the jewel thing just to these two parts here because I think, yeah, I think that's probably enough of the jewel. But I have some other ideas up my sleeve. Okay, so what I kind of want to do for this, for, you know, the remaining of this part here is have it so you still do the same inputs, but you look like you're going through blocks and structures. I might just take these and then just shift that up, maybe put another one and shift it like upside down there like that, and then just kind of do a similar type of thing, right? Oh, this is, this is evil. <laughs> That's so stupid. That is so stupid, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's surprisingly not too bad to see what you have to do there. Like you think it would be impossible, but it's actually like not too, too hard somehow. This part has been such a pain to buff, but it's so much fun. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, the video is getting long and a lot of the buffs are more of the same, except this part where you gotta like not hit these triggers instead of hitting them. Oh, okay, I've just realized that with this spawn trigger here, if you, depending on where you hit that, so if I hit it super early, you can see I'm kind of to the left of the platform, but if I hit it late, like that, you can see I'm right at the edge of the platform there. Ooh, so I'm gonna get spikes here, paste state, paste color, and add them to group 96 then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't need the video to be a million years long. Let's get to the verification. Okay, so now I guess it's just kind of time to practice this. Uh, let's try and go from the memory part, sure. Nice, okay. So that was, what was that? It should say on the thing, maybe? That was 68 to 100, nice. I'll try and do, th yeah, 37 to 100. Let's see if I can do that. May as well do another run. Oh, that didn't work, what? No. Yeah, that doesn't work, okay. Uh... All right, I think I fixed it. Let's try and do that run again. No, I'm an idiot. Ah! Nice. All right, GG, GG, GG. 37 to 100? Yeah, okay. Here we go. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, but I, I guess we'll see. <laughs> ah, 31, bro. Yeah, this first part is a lot harder than the second half, I think. But I think that's probably a good thing, right? Having an impossible second half would just get kind of annoying, I feel like. And I, I don't really like it that much when levels do that. So I, I, I think I'll keep it how it is. I'm getting rid of that mini spike. That mini spike's horrible. Ah, oh, I forgot to jump there. No. <laughs> I kind of want to make the entrance to that UFO part a little bit more consistent because at the moment it's a little bit inconsistent and I'm not the biggest fan of having inconsistent gameplay, you know? This is also a little bit weird in here. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's a lot more consistent with that blue jump pad there. I like that. Okay, yeah. What happened there? What? <laughs> I like slid off the edge, huh? Oh, I died of that stupid ball timing. Oh, I forgot to hit that late. I forgot to hit that late. No. <laughs> Thank you.
Oh my god, I nearly died towards the end there a couple times. Ooh, all right. Well, I verified it. Nice. 243 attempts. That includes, you know, playtesting and all that. Another level for Eric series. Tried to make it easier than the blast processing buff, but I think it's harder. <laughs> all right, there we go. Upload that. 10 stars, sure. Boom. There we go. Geometrical Dominator buff. There it is. The blast processing buff did really well. Whoa, 2,000 likes. Jeez, you guys are insane. Anyway, so um, yeah, we've got this one now. Brand new buffed level, so go check it out if you want. If you want to give it a play for yourself, go ahead and try it. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, took me a while to record, not going to lie. It took me like two and a half times what I normally spend on recording a video, which isn't good for this time of year because I'm trying to get videos done early. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.